Hello, in this video we'll be covering the SQL source. Uh, the SQL source is a data reader uh, which allows for users to enter a freeform SQL query uh, to be able to query a database uh, and retrieve a result set and it can be used as a driver for uh, records flowing through a data flow. Uh, at, you can also, for example, as you see here, if I preview the data, you can see the result of my query and I'm able to use this as a source in the data flow. To use the SQL source, uh, simply uh, navigate to the toolbox under the Sources section, expand, and navigate to SQL source in the toolbox. Then drag and drop onto the diagram, and then proceed to configure the properties. The very first property is the connection screen. This is where you'll fill out the credentials to the specific provider that you are uh, connecting to. Uh, here you'll see that the the, uh, the connection screen changes depending on what provider you're talking about. So in this case we'll stick with SQL Server uh, and in this case you must provide uh, authentication mechanism such as Windows authentication or username and password and pretty much any similar for any time you connect to a database uh, in Centerprise. Here I'm going to use a previous connection and click on the next button. The next screen is the SQL syntax uh, screen. Uh, here I can enter in any uh, SQL, valid SQL syntax in order to perform a query to be run against the database. So in this case I'll select the star from order. If I click next you'll see that I get an error incorrect syntax near keyword order. Uh, this is actually was not a valid query. I forgot the S at the end here. So here I'll correct my query and click on the next button. And here I'll, I will get the uh, schema uh, of the result, resultant data set that was returned to me from the query. And so this layout was actually built by running the previous uh, query on the previous screen. Uh, one thing to note about this query is that it is dependent, depend, uh, the syntax is dependent on the provider that you're connecting to. So here I'm connecting to Microsoft SQL Server, so all Microsoft SQL Server uh, syntax rules apply. Uh, so now that I have my layout built, I can click on the OK. And if I expand the box in this case, you'll see that I now have the tree filled out with the schema representing the schema of the resultant data set returned to me from the query. So at this point, I can preview my data and see the first n number of records returned from the query, and then use this to map just like any other data source uh, in a data flow. And that concludes how to use the SQL query source.